Morning, everybody. How are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Uh, I'm doing a special Wednesday update. Um, we're probably not going to have these on a regular uh, basis, only for uh, you know quick updates to things and major news. And um, I wanted to respond to a couple of inquiries I've had from parishioners uh, just this morning about our returning to uh, full worship and everything else. And here's the news. Um, until the Diocese of Maryland says that we can return to full capacity, and until the Diocese of Maryland says that those restrictions are lifted for worshiping in our church, we continue with the guidelines that are in place. Currently, we're in the orange phase um, of the regathering plan and have not yet uh, been given clearance to, boot, to move into the yellow phase, which would still have us socially distanced and things like that within the sanctuary. So um, please just so that I can be very, very clear about this. Um, unless Jesus came down and said, we're back to everything's normal, um, the diocese has the final say in everything. And right now they're being cautious about this, which I think is the right move. Um, so we will, we will continue as business as usual, um, which is that if you want to come to in-person worship, please do come. Uh, sign up at the eight o'clock service for in-person worship. If you'd like to uh, worship uh, with us remotely, please do that as well. Um, and uh, join us at the, for the 1030 service and uh, look for the weekly links in the epistle and on our website in every way so that you can be a part of our worship together. Um, I will tell you that personally, um, I have, have been vaccinated as has Reverend Nathan um, and uh, has Kathleen and, and we are all uh, excited uh, to think about the possibility of slowly coming back to in-person worship at both services but that will probably happen in the fall in September. Um, so regardless of where we are uh, in uh, with, with, uh, with what Stuart Pittman has said or what um, you know, even the president said uh, yesterday, um, please know that the diocese is the controlling factor for us. And then after that, it's up to me and the vestry to determine how and when we come back to in-person worship at both services and what that looks like. The good news is, uh, the Vestry and I have, have been spending a lot of time thinking about that and how we do that and the best way to do that. So uh, stay tuned for updates about that as we move forward over the summer. Um, but going forward um, from today until we say otherwise, uh, you can always come to church at the eight o'clock service in person, and you can always worship with us online uh, virtually at the 1030 service. Um, I've given, uh, if you look below, uh, a link to the orange guidelines um, and the different uh, phases of return to in-person worship from the diocese. But please take a read through those again so that you have a clear understanding of what we can and can't do and uh, what we're allowed to do and, and how we can do it, just so that we're all on the same page. Um, I know that these are exciting times to, um, to, to consider, uh, but just know that we're going to be a little bit more cautious than the rest of the world. Um, and uh, so far, that's proved to be a good strategy. We've had um, no uh, cases, positive cases from St. Martin's because of contact at St. Martin's um, at our church. And I'm so pleased about that. We've had very, very few cases in our school at all. Um, which is wonderful. And I think that's adherence to these guidelines and to wearing masks and things like that. There was one bit of news, and I'll put this in right at the end. Um, there was one bit of news that I thought was um, distressing, but also, you know, like I'm not understanding why this isn't happening, is if you're an adult and you haven't gotten vaccinated, please, please go get vaccinated. Um, don't do it because you want to feel great about yourself or whatever. If, if it's not for a selfish thing to feel like you've been vaccinated, that's good. Do it for everybody else around you. Um, uh, the, the report that Pittman said was that 70% of the um, uh, openings for to receive the COVID vaccine uh, were open as of Monday. 70% um, of the appointment slots were open. So if you have been waiting and thought, well, I let everybody else get there, that now is the time. Go do it because less than 50% of the county has been vaccinated. Um, so the fact that there's such a disparity between the huge number of openings and still the huge number, 50% is a huge amount of people who haven't been vaccinated, um, do everybody a favor, help us all, <laughs> go get vaccinated. Um, I've done it, it is really that not that bad. Um, in fact, I was surprised, I was like, oh, that's it, it's over? Okay, great, um, and had very minimal side effects and things like that, so um, please do us all a favor, and if you haven't been vaccinated, please, please, please go get vaccinated. Um, if I can find the right information to put below, um, you'll see a couple of links and how to get an appointment and things like that. But do sign up and do get vaccinated. It'll help everybody um, so that we aren't doing this any longer <laughs> or any longer than we have to. All right. Huh, a whole lot. So thank you all very much for your understanding and for your patience and for your continued safety. That's the most important part. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed rest of your Wednesday. Bye. Oh, and by the way, the bishop's coming. Ha! Huh? 
So if you haven't signed up for worship for eight o'clock in person, um, please do ha go ahead and do so. I'd love to have us be as full as we can be uh, at church on Sunday. Um, and please do remember, you have to sign up in order to come to worship. Um, we've had uh, 20 or 30 people every week that haven't signed up, like, oh, we'll just show up. No, please, please, please uh, click the link below. I'll put it down below. Click the link below and uh, sign up to come to worship so we know who's coming. We have a good idea about that. That's going to be all the more important as we go forward. So thank you all very much. Now, now go ahead and have a great Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.